Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig. I hold the David J. Ellis Chair in Antimicrobial Resistance and Large Animal Clinical Sciences at Michigan State University. In our continuing series about antibiotic usage on dairy farms, today I'm going to be discussing the types of approved antibiotic usage for dairy cows. The reason that I'm discussing this topic is that we've got some changes coming to the way antibiotics can be used to treat dairy animals. As of June 2023, in the United States, all antibiotics that will be given to dairy animals on dairy farms will require a veterinary prescription. What that means is that as of that date, you must have a relationship with a veterinarian who meets the criteria to prescribe antibiotics on your farm. Now those criteria are called having a veterinary client patient relationship. And we'll discuss in another video the specific criteria, but they really mean that you've got a veterinarian who's able to come to your farm, diagnose disease, make a preliminary diagnosis, prescribe an antibiotic, and then provide follow-up care if it's needed. Now, when you have a veterinarian who meets those criteria, they can prescribe really two types of approved antibiotic usage. The first type is just regular prescription usage. And regular prescription usage means you're using an approved antibiotic in an approved class of animals exactly following the label instructions for that product. In other words, you're using the drug in an animal to treat a disease that's listed on the label um, following the label instructions in every way. Now let's look at an example of that. I've pulled up a label for agricillin here and I want to just say I just pulled that label as an example. There is no endorsement of this product that should be implied. If we take a look at this label, we'll see that the label reads that this product is approved to treat bacterial pneumonia caused by Pasteurella multacida in dairy cattle and sheep. The approved dosage is 3,000 international units per pound, which is about one cc per 100 pounds. The product has to be given for no more than four days and no more than 10 cc's of the product should be given in any one site. Following all of those instructions is approved usage of a prescription drug. If anything is changed, then that administration does not follow the approved label and that usage must follow guidelines for extra label drug usage. So that means if you're treating another disease, not bacterial pneumonia, let's say you're treating foot rot, that's an extra label usage, not regular prescription usage. Now what's extra label usage? Well, extra label usage is approved for some uh, types of antibiotics and for some circumstances. But extra label usage is only permitted under the supervision of the veterinarian who holds that veterinary client patient relationship for your farm. Extra label usage is only approved for some FDA approved animal and human drugs. It's not allowed for non-approved compounds, including botanicals. It's allowed only for therapeutic, not production uh, purposes. It's not allowed for antibiotics given in feed, and it's not allowed if that usage results in a violative residue. All right, let's just recap. As of June 2023, in the United States, all antibiotics given to food producing animals will require a veterinary prescription. Those prescriptions must be issued by the veterinarian who holds the veterinary client patient relationship, which means they must have enough knowledge to diagnose the disease, prescribe the treatment, and provide follow-up care if it's needed. Regular prescription usage must exactly follow the label. If the label directions aren't followed, in some instances, the local vet can prescribe extra label usage, but we have to make sure that we follow the specific rules for that extra label usage.